In this video, I want to show you guys the step-by-step -step transformation that occurred in this space. Because of major factors like the height and time that I didn't really have a lot of, I had to hire help. And they helped me out build out the structures that I needed. I love the fact that this is a two-story home, so whatever it is that we do on this wall is going to give a wow factor because of the height. I drew out what I wanted and gave them to make sure they understand exactly what it is that I needed. And I included tiles in the middle and wooden battens that are going to make a cute design on two sides of the wall. In my sketch, I do have other extra things that I want to put into this design, but I'm going to wait until they're done to see if I should add the extra things that I have up in my head or just leave it the way it is. Now, if this would have been perfect in white, but I have to say, I've seen a lot of white and it'll be nice to switch to something else. And luckily for me, my client loves a lot of blue and was not shying away from it. So out of the two shades I have in my hand, I picked this one and this is how it looks. I had something else in my drawing for the back wall in the niches and then I wanted to leave it the way it is because I love the blue but then I figured something like this could fit perfectly inside the niches and this will be adding a little bit of character to them. These are easy to cut to size and they stick pretty well so you better be sure where you need to have this place before you have it on the wall because it's going to be really hard to take it off. Because of the dust, I made sure that I cleaned off the surfaces before installing the tiles. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Because of human error, this was not flushed straight and that made the work not look good at all. But I had a solution for that. I got trims and then I cut them to size. I used an angle cutter to make my job a lot easier. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I made all the strips like some sort of frames and then I attached them to the niches and covered up all of the trims with gold metallic tape. I am up on the scarfold, guys. And I was not scared, I have to say. Most people that have never seen me on a scarfold were all thinking that I was scared, but I don't have fear of heights. I am extremely careful and I made sure everything was the way it was supposed to be before climbing the scarfold. I am here installing the gold metallic tape to my design. And I'm gonna be doing this where I want this to be. And I'm also gonna be taking it and adding it to the middle, going from the top right down to the bottom. Right at the top, I decided to add more strips and a crown molding. I'm also going to be adding remote control LED strips to my design.
And guys, you should know that I really love this part of a makeover where I get to do some of the work myself. I really love having my hands on making items and even decorating homes. So every avenue that I see to do something myself, I jump right into it. I got really large letters that I'll be using to decorate the niches and I got the two first letters for the homeowners. And because this is not bad the way it is, even if it looks industrial, it still looks okay, but I'm gonna be covering just the top with white contact paper so that it would actually blend with the color theme inside the niches. We introduced a rug to the space, and this is a really, really large rug that's gonna cover up a lot of the seating area. I'll be using clips on sheer curtains that I'll be using to cover up the window that's gonna be by the side of the TV unit. Because of the height and to make it easy to open and close the curtains, we got a remote control track and this is such a cool item to have in the home and the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below. I'm securing some of the decor items that are gonna be in the niches with command strips and sticky tape. This is another phase of work that I enjoy and that is putting decor items together to bring out the beauty of the space. Because my client has a lot of books, I decided to just give a camouflage here using storage books instead. And this will be at the top corner right here, and I'll be using decorative mirrored bookends to keep them together. I'm also going to be adding greenery to the space. Here are some other cute pieces that I added to the space, and I'm making sure that whatever piece that I add to all of the niches go with something else around them. The strip lights look so beautiful when they're turned on and a fireplace was also added to the TV unit. Here are some few before and after clips. There's still work to be done in this home. And if you look at the view of the TV unit from upstairs, it's so pretty. And while you're actually upstairs, you can see that I'm clearly not done with the space here. But when I'm through with it, I'm definitely gonna be sharing it with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button 